In this tutorial, I'm going to take you through some of the options available under the general tab of the MentorCore Globals. The MentorCore Globals provides an interface to tweak all options related to MentorCore, as well as managing render passes. First we have the Output section. This controls how the passes are rendered. Output mode lets you choose between Preview Pass, Preview Composite and All Passes. Preview Pass allows you just to render a specific render pass in the render view. Preview Composite allows you to composite together the render passes in the hypershade and all passes will render all the passes and this happens automatically during a batch render. The File Output section contains options related to how the render passes are saved to disk. File Mode lets you choose between separate files, grouped EXR or single EXR. Separate files will save each render pass as its own unique file. Grouped EXR allows you to group together the render passes in multiple EXRs and single EXR will save all render passes under one EXR file. Frame Buffer Mode is a mentor option that controls how the render passes are handled during rendering. An EXR compression allows you to choose the compression type for the EXR files. Color Management provides an easy way for you to adopt a linear workflow. You can specify an input profile, output profile and a preview profile which is what you see in the render view. Settings contains some advanced Mentoray and MentorCore features. Unified sampling and progressive rendering are options in Mentoray that have not yet been exposed in the Maya interface. Camera settings allow you to change features such as the shape of the lens and a variety of color grading and depth of field options. Tone mapping allows you to apply a simple built-in exponential tone mapper to map over bright pixels to a viewable range. And finally, stereo rendering allows you to render both left and right eye images in one render, 